little bit about Australia I, uh, through quite a few friends I had, Australian friends that had either come over for work or, you know, that I, I just met in other areas working at Ford Motor Company. Hi, I'm Craig Metros. I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan, currently based in Melbourne. Uh, I work for Ford Motor Company. I'm a uh, chief designer. I came over to Melbourne about five and a half years ago. Came over for a specific program and uh, have been leading that program ever since. Moving to Melbourne from Detroit was a, was a great opportunity for me. I mean, Melbourne's, what is it, in the top three most livable cities in the world. People here are passionate about, you know, about cars, about art, surfing, all the, all the things in life that I really enjoy doing. I think uh, Australians, Melburnians, I just think they have a great work-life balance. It's just, it's a very balanced city. You know, I love the Australian sense of humor. Just very easy going. I've been, I've made art on the side all my life, all my adult life. Yeah, I mean, my art, it, it's always changing. I started out doing watercolors and acrylics of race cars and sports cars. And, you know, the automotive stuff and the motorcycle stuff that's happening actually influences me through my art. Just caught wind of some guys at work that uh, were talking about maybe getting together and finding a, an old garage or warehouse to rent. And uh, yeah, I just put up my hand and I was interested. It's uh, six guys. Half of us all work at Ford. We're, we're all workmates. It's just been great. You know, everyone really gets along. You know, everyone's interested in motorcycles and cars. And um, I'm the only one pursuing art, but I, I kind of like that. Working in the automotive industry, we work to tenths of a millimeter. Everything's very, you know, in data, very precise. And here, it, you know, it's it's eyeballed. It's um, very fluid. Not too many constraints. And one of the big influences was coming to Melbourne and seeing all the graffiti and, and street art happening. There's a huge uh, street art and stencil scene here. So I don't know if it's obvious when people see my art, but I'm a huge movie fan and, 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 a, and a big music fan. I, I, I cannot work on my art without listening to music, and I grew up listening to rock and roll, and once um, I started university at that time, punk was very big on the scene, and that had a, a huge influence on me, just the, the, the shift of you know, very precise music, you know, the rock and roll that was happening in the late 70s to, to punk was, you know, a huge contrast. You know, I just love the fact that, you know, everything that everyone knew about modern rock and roll at that time was basically turned on its head. And I, I kind of like to capture that raw energy and, and that different perspective in my art. Uh, to me, it's extremely artistic and, you know, it's, it's self-expression, which is what art is. 